on the 12th floor inside the municipal courthouse. We really could talk about this case for days. Yeah. Lawyers and judges join in on a conversation. We're talking about issues of discrimination. Q-Law, the state's LGBT bar association, is the host, and a Washington case is a major focus. We're here in an LGBTQ room, but I hope this the same discussion is going on in communities across the country. It started five years ago in Richland, Washington with florist Baronel Stutzman. She refused on religious grounds to provide flowers for a gay wedding, saying she believes marriage is a sacred union of a man and a woman. Uh, it was exceptionally hurtful to our clients and uh, after thinking about it for some time, uh, they got in touch with the ACLU of Washington State who got in touch with us. Attorney Jack Ewert sued and won in Washington State. Meanwhile, happening more than a thousand miles away, a cake baker in Colorado entered into a legal fight of his own when he refused to bake a cake for a gay wedding. His case went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court where justices ruled in his favor. It is really focused on what the court perceived to be anti-religious Bias. Now, in light of the Colorado case, the highest federal court says Arlene's flowers deserves another look. Justices are sending it back to the state court for further consideration. We're not worried about that. Our record contains nothing that would suggest any anti-religious bias on the part of anyone. And so what next in Arlene's flowers? What's the anticipated path? Well, I, I, it, it, will, it will make its way back down to the state Supreme Court. And then, uh, and then we'll see. A Washington case in the national spotlight. It's a controversial battle fueling plenty of conversations tonight. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.